getting his sea legs. All right, well, kids are back <laughs> in school, and a lot of them, sadly, will deal with things like peer pressure and bullying. That's true, but licensed clinical social worker Carrie Lathan with Frederick uh, Medical Health Group is here to help us figure this out. This is a serious problem, and with long uh, aftermath, it seems, sometimes. It's very serious. Kids um, can start with school avoidance, learning disturbances. They can fail at school, depression, anxiety, drugs, alcohol, mm. um, more serious things, post-traumatic stress disorder from from Ooh. bullying to um, suicide, homicide, wow. right. which is what we see. So it's very important to help kids, to deal with bullies, work with schools. Parents can do a lot of things to help their kids. I know a lot of the school programs have right now, okay, if somebody's being bullied, you're supposed to immediately go to your teacher, you know, get the word out, that kind of thing. But are there a lot of kids who don't tell anybody? And then if so, what are parents supposed to do? What are some of the symptoms? Yeah, a lot of kids don't tell. They fear bullying will be worse. A lot of kids who have been bullied long term don't believe that adults can help them. They've mm. reached out for help. Nothing has happened. Sometimes when they tell grown-ups, the bullying gets worse. Mm. Um, so there are a lot of things parents can do. We can't control the bullies. Right. Um, but we can take control over what's happening with their own kids. So what do they need to know? The number one prevention against bullying? Assertiveness skills. So how do you teach them that? Yeah. Stand up straight, look people in the eye, be confident, use a firm voice, remain calm with your facial expressions. So have them practice in front of the mirror. Mm -hmm. right, um, role play with them. Little kids use puppets so they can practice, or their little dollies. Yeah. It's the same advice that we give to women who are traveling in the world that you don't look yes. like a victim. I didn't think yeah. about that for Bullies children. Bullies choose great. their victims based on differences. Yes. Mm -hmm. So physical appearance, delayed social development, poor social skills, skills. kids that don't have friends, kids mm. that don't know how to make and maintain friends. So teach and model for your kids how they can develop friendships. Wow. All the important social skills, share, take turns, have a variety of interests. Yeah. Those are the types of things that we Bullying's been around forever, but somehow it seems in the last couple of generations, the results of being bullied have changed dramatically. Mm -hmm. what, in your opinion, do you, what do you think's changed? <laughs> You'll love this, but I think media. <laughs> yeah, oh, really? <laughs> well, that's why you're taking us on. That's yeah. good. Yes. I think that um, there's thousands of research studies that show the more television kids watch, the more aggressive they become. Really? Mm -hmm. Kids that are in preschool that watch uh, two hours or more of TV a day are much more aggressive. Bullying is beginning at the age of three. Oh, three year old. Really? Three year olds. So you have to protect wow. your preschoolers. Preschoolers need to learn these skills. Yeah, yeah, and something we talk about here all the time is the media muscle. The, yes. There's viewers out there who will say things on Facebook that they wouldn't say to our face. And I'm Not sure hardly. that's the truth now <laughs> yeah. with children as well. So you the say start early thing, on. Yeah. So start early on. That's what I was going to ask. So yeah. from the time that they can talk. Absolutely. Okay and help them model it and do I, I always talk about redos so if you have a little child who's trying to figure out how to talk to somebody yes. but it it often comes out demanding or whiny or and so just kind of go over whisper in their ear and say try it this way yeah that's a good and idea and then let them and just talk about it. our whole family does redos if mommy's cranky and she says something in a mean voice Say redo, yeah. and then so I have good. to that's do it. Good exactly. And then I have that's to do it over. So it's kind of like a, a sense of self that you're encouraging and teaching them. Does this work for peer pressure as well? I think the same things for bullying apply to peer pressure. Kids need to know how to be assertive. Kids that have friends aren't going to be so drawn into peer pressure. Mm. They can just walk away and say, "I've got a group of kids over here who like me and care about me." Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And it really does come down to the parents because I remember it being talked to about the fact. Okay, yes, you might be peer pressured this way and expect them to be able to say something like this you know mm -hmm. if somebody's been drinking and they want you to get in the car with them mm -hmm. what do you do and you know they, it's just like any other task you have to be taught yeah mm -hmm. don't play it through yeah and be a good parent this yeah. sounds like we've got to stand up straight and look people in the eye but it's and do true. Something you know it's thing. serious i can think of the the TV shows that were adults were on talking to the different hosts about being bullied as a child and how they were to this day traumatized by that. Yeah. It's a serious thing. Yes. But mm. that's interesting. Instead of waiting to hear that from your child that there's a bully picking on him at school, start from the ground up. Yes. And still skills as a parent, be mm -hmm. active, that would help yeah. them combat that on their own. That's Is it too late to learn that as adults as well? No, absolutely yeah. not. Right. Well, it's I mean, a good question. Is it ever too late? Because, you know, even great parents can make mistakes, drop a ball but it's never too late to go back to your kid and just kind of get them up to speed on how to handle things? Yep. 
Okay, that Absolutely. is good news because sometimes you realize time is flown by and oops, I should have told them to stand up straight or done this or that yeah. or whatever. So hmm. there you right. go. Take well, the time. Yeah, yeah, it's fine the time, I know, but yeah, sometimes it Thank gets you away so from Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you so much. Well, coming up, we are